Never before <laughs> have I been so offended by something I 100% agree with. No, I've never tried making a video on day-to-day -day Gen 2 tasks. So let's see if I can do it. Um, today we're going to try and do one on that package.accept keywords. So I'm going to pick a package um, which I know is masked with a Tidal AMD64 keyword, which is fast fetch, which is basically one of those Neo Fetch um, clones, but this one's written in C, so it's a little faster. Um, we'll do emerge verbose ask fast fetch. And as you can see, it's masked with a AMD64 keyword. So, how would you unmask this package? Well, first of all, we need to do a little bit of work to make uh, everything be tidy. So we'll do a touch, accept reportage, package, dot accept, underscore keywords, and then triple Z, underscore auto mask. And that basically just makes a nice tidy folder for everything to stay into. Now, when we do emerge, Verbose ask fast fetch and then hyphen hyphen auto unmask right auto unmask. You can see now it's adding all the packages which are keyworded. So if we type yes and then run dispatch config you can see it's adding these files just here for us so as we want to accept this and put it into our new file um, zzz auto mask we'll press u or auto merge or for use new and we can now emerge the package with no problem at all And there we go, we've now got it installed and we can use our system information pack as so. Let's make that a bit clearer, there we go. Now, what if you wanted to make this, uh, do it the manual way? Because Gen 2 as always, there's a hundred ways to skin a cat. If we delete the auto unmask file that we just created, which will be etc reportage package dot except keywords and zzz and then try and do it again, we will find that we can no longer install fastfetch. Now what we can do is create a new file and do this the manual way. So it'll be etc reportage package except keywords and then we need to make a new file i like to use um, the name of the main program as the file name keep everything nice and tidy for me and i'll know where to look when i want to make changes later on so we'll do uh, we'll call it fast fetch and we know the program name there is apt misc fast fetch so what we'll type here is apt misc fast fetch and as you can see, um now what you can do is you can either put the title amd64 there and it will work and what i'll show you afterwards when it doesn't work is that you don't actually need to use that and so when you um type it again you can see now we're missing devlibs uh yy jason so we edit our file again which we can just press up to find. Then we type devlibs yyjson. And this time I'm going to leave off the um, title AMD64 because it's basically assumed that that's what you're trying to do. And now if I do it again, you'll see that it all works.
Okay, and fast fetch again. Now it works. But I hear you cry. What if I only want a certain version number? And I've got you there as well. We'll go back into our file. And what we can do is put an equals in front of the app misc fast fetch and then a hyphen and then type in the version we want, which we'll do the version before in this case, which is 2.2.3 slash release one. And as you can see, it's going to try and downgrade us to the version before it. We can also use the greater than if we wanted to go for a version above a package number or less than if we wanted a package before. That's a handy tool if you're trying to pick um, a package before a live e-build. But anyway, I hope you found this one in, um, helpful today. And always remember that video guides do get outdated. So below will be a link to the knowledge base in the wiki so you can um, get up-to-date information and I highly recommend you read that knowledge base as well. Catch you on the next one.